Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new collection that Charlotte Tilbury just released. I was on the fence for a few hours when this first released. I purchased it from the early release or pre-sale. So this is the Eye Color Magic Collection where it's supposed to make your eye color pop. Each palette corresponds to an eye color. So there are four different options as far as quads. And then she also has four corresponding dual eyeliners that go with each of the palettes. So if you want to see my thoughts individually on each of the palettes, see a look using each of the palettes, some swatches, all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. So really quickly before I get into the makeup part, I did want to talk about something really quick because I just feel like it doesn't feel right if I don't mention it because there are some things going on right now. I am off of work for the next two weeks due to the coronavirus and with this serious matter going on, it seems a bit silly that I'm sitting here talking about makeup and using my time during this break to do that. But I think it's a really nice escape and I just want to say I hope you guys are staying healthy and for those of us who are really not at risk, for this virus, I think it is important that we keep in mind those who are at risk and change the way that we're doing life right now for those who are at risk. So just be mindful, you know, even if you really aren't afraid or worried about the virus, that there are people in this world that are and they need to stay protected and that's why all of this is going on to protect those who do need that protection. Just wanted to say that, tell you guys what's going on with me and what they've decided to do with my job. So I do have some time to film over the next two weeks. I'm very excited about that. So if you have any video suggestions, just let me know. But anyways, I would like to get into the new collection that Charlotte Tilbury has released. This is the Eye Color Magic Collection. Now this collection comes with four eyeshadow quads. These are limited edition quads. They are $53 each and each quad color is supposed to be for a specific eye color to make it pop. Of course that should not limit to you to which palette that you purchase. You can purchase whatever colors you want and along with each palette she has come out with a matching dual sided eyeliner. I only purchased the green one to go with the green palette just to test it out see what the formula was all about so you'll see that towards the end of the video when I review it. But the format of this video I am going to put timestamps down below because I want to talk about each palette individually so if you were only thinking about purchasing a specific palette this is your way to go straight to it but I do give my overall thoughts kind of comparing one to the other at the end of the video but I did want to format it in a way in that if you weren't interested in all of them you don't need to watch this whole video. Just some general facts though like I said these are all $53 and they are all limited edition. The eyeshadow palettes themselves are made in Italy and the eye pencils are made in Germany. So I'm going to quickly go over each of the palettes. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys and do a tutorial with is going to be the super blue palette right here. The second palette I will be overviewing is Mesmerizing Maroon. The third one that we have here is Copper Charge. And then the last one that we have here is Green Lights, Green Lights. And now keep in mind this palette is the Rebel which just released a couple of months ago. So if you purchase the Rebel, don't purchase this. It's the same palette just with a different name which I'll get into in the video. But anyways, if you would like to see my thoughts on these palettes, we're going to start off with super blue. So let's get into it. So the first palette that we are going to talk about and go into is the super blue palette. Now this is the one that you guys seemed to be the most excited for because quite honestly it is probably the most unique of the four compared to the rest of her line. She just doesn't have a lot of blues in her line and looking right now it looks like online this is the only one that is currently sold out. In this quad you are getting a metallic gold, kind of a shimmery brown. Her pop color is a royal blue with kind of some glitters to it and then you have a matte navy now i actually don't own a single matte navy from charlotte so i believe this might be a first from her i have a blue from the icon palette that came out a couple of years ago the icon palette blue is a bit more black based compared to the blue in here this is more sheer not too much of a base for it so they aren't very similar and just kind of for these two i stuck in the this palette in case you do have the icon palette. I swatched the blue, I swatched this compared to the bronze color, and I used this compared to the light gold color. Though they are in the same family, none of them are the same. You can get similar colors in the icon palette to these three, 
don't have a navy from Charlotte Tilbury, though in the realm of makeup that is not a unique color. Within her own line, this is definitely the most unique of the four. As far as the overall quality of this palette goes, I found that it wasn't the most easy of the quads to apply because it is a navy palette. It has those blues, but the quality is still fantastic. This is a great navy shade. You are going to get fallout, but it has a lot of pigmentation to it. These two paired together are a beautiful combination, and both of these are beautiful shimmery colors, just extremely creamy, extremely pigmented. So overall, I do really enjoy this palette. I personally don't really like blue shadows, so for me, this wasn't the most exciting. And I feel like I wish she would have just gone all out with like blues and silvers in here because these two colors are dupable within her own line. It's really only the half of the palette that is the most unique. But altogether, they are really pretty. I am very happy with the look that I came up with, and I really didn't have any problems with application. So I'm going to take you into the tutorial for this one. So we're gonna dive into super blue right here. We have no choice but to do a blue smoky eye. So I'm going to start off with the matte navy shade. This is a refer number 15 brush. Picked up a lot on the brush. We're gonna tap off the excess by building this up in the outer corner. As you can see kind of right away, we have a lot of pigmentation. Right now, the only thing on my eyelid is Max Painterly Paint Pot, and that will be the base that I'm using for all of the looks today, just to keep everything consistent. Navy typically is a tough color to work with, but this ended up working relatively easy. Of course, like when you just leave it like this, Navy struggles, but I like that. I'm gonna build up just a little bit to see how it packs and it packs on very very nice really really dark not quite as blue as I was hoping but she did a pretty good job with this formula I'm going to take a light fluffy brush just to soften these edges next we're taking the shimmery brown shade getting that up on a refer number two and traditionally, I probably wouldn't do this. I'm really trying to play with the colors, and that was absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. And it applied beautifully with a brush. Then with a refer, number three brush, I'm going to pop this in the inner half. Now, this is a very traditional Charlotte Tilbury shade. These two aren't very unique to her line, but the blues most definitely are. And then I want to play with the pop shade, so I'm just going to use my finger. And this is more creamy than the old Order formula and I'm going to pop this right on top of the navy and dang that's pretty that really complements the navy honestly I don't even need the other two like these two together are match made in heaven you can see we did get some fallout wipe that away and on my lower lash line I'm taking the navy on my lower lash line and then topping it off with this that navy does produce some fallout so I would say do your eyes first but here is the look with the blue palette I really really love it so you'll see in a second with some lashes and all of that good stuff but the quality of it is really nice you have some new colors to Charlotte Tilbury and here is how we're looking for the final look with this quad so I really do enjoy this it definitely does kind of make my eyes a little bit more brown so yes the premise of this palette is to make brown eyes look more hazel and I do agree with that like it did kind of brighten my eyes and I can see it better personally I like purples more to kind of bring out brown eyes but I do think that this worked and it is really pretty and I do enjoy this palette if you like blues you're going to really enjoy this if you don't you probably won't be using these bottom two but the neutrals in here are great as well so even if you don't like blues, you are using the top two. However, this is quite a pricey quad, so it just depends if you think it's worth it to only use the blue occasionally and use the neutrals a lot more. But I like this palette. I think it's really cute. I'm happy I have it in my collection now because it is quite unique. So the next quad that I went into, which is this eye, is Mesmerizing Maroon. And I have to say, upon opening it, it's not very maroon to me. It just seems more of like a plum palette, mauve plum, not really maroon. Now, this is supposed to make green eyes look greener. So in here, finish-wise, you are getting two shimmers up top, her pop formula and one matte. The shimmer formula is very consistent very pigmented, very shiny and metallic. The pop formula, this one is quite a pigmented one compared to a lot of her pop formulas. And I really feel like she reformulated her pops and it's a much better formula. It's much more creamy. In her previous palettes, that pop formula gets hard panned and then it gets harder and harder to pick up the color 
color from it. These so far, and this goes across the board for all four of these, don't seem to be getting too much of a hard pan. I do see a little bit, but oh my gosh, it's so much better and it's so pretty. I have to say opening it, this one was my favorite because you know I love more purple tones. And I thought to myself, this one might be the most unique. Now looking through my collection and swatching, it's not as unique as the blue one, but this one I did have a hard time duping and I was surprised by that because it is Charlotte Tilbury tones, but it's actually much more purple than she typically does. So what I did swatch for comparison was from the Stars in Your Eyes palette that came out in 2018. And what really reminded me of it was the Confident Eyes. So just so you can kind of take a look. And then I did grab this one just to compare it to the lightest one. But I thought that that palette had the most similarities to this one. The matte shade is extremely similar in the Stars in Your Eyes. It's a little bit more purple. But the shimmers are more different. I feel like the Confident Eyes has a little bit more deepness to it. And this lighter shade really isn't a dupe for this. So definitely some similar shades from the Stars in Your Eyes. That one was limited edition though. So if you do have it, you might be able to get a very similar look with this quad. But if you don't, uh, taking Stars in Your Eyes out of the Charlotte Tilbury line, this is actually a unique one in her line if you don't have Stars in Your Eyes because that was limited edition. So honestly, this is more unique than you would think it would be. So very, very happy with this one. As far as application goes, I really think I get a Charlotte Tilbury look with this. It's that glowy, glimmery kind of eye. Application was extremely simple. I'm just going to let the tutorial speak for itself so you can kind of see how it worked. But this one of the four I think is my favorite just because I like these tones for my brown eyes. I feel like they really complement brown eyes, but of course, they're made to complement green eyes as well. And it's just overall a really pretty palette. And I think you guys are really going to like it if you like purples like I do. So we're going to be digging into Mesmerizing Maroon for this one. So I'm going to start off with the Enhanced shade right here. And this is how you get that Charlotte Tilbury glowy kind of look is you put that shimmer in the crease. That's really, really pretty. Now, as you can see, when you blend this shadow out, it really is not unflattering on the crease. Like I know so many of you are scared to do. That was an Isom G34 brush, by the way. And now we're going to go into the matte shade in here. And I'm going to place that right in the outer corner. That's blending out stunning. Going to take the pop shade right here on our finger. This is going all over the eyelid. So her pop shade is so much more creamy. It doesn't seem like it's getting hard pan like all of her other pop shade formula. And this shade in particular, wow. Do you see how stunning that is? When the light hits, I am loving these glitters. Very nice. As you can see, there is a sheer base to it, but that's pretty typical of her pop formula. We're gonna take just this shimmery shade. It's a plain shimmery shade, not the pop formula. I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm going to mix these two shades on my lower lash line. Literally just mixing them and popping them down here. A little bit of fallout, but here's the look I made using this palette. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I just, so you can see for comparison. So I'm going to do some lashes now. So of course, finished look of both. I love both of these. So it's time to move into the next two quads. I don't think there's a very smooth transition I can make for it to go from this look to the next look. So just prepare yourself. So the one that we have on this eye right here is Copper Charge. Now Copper Charge is supposed to be for blue eyes to make them more blue. Now of the four, I would say the colors in here are probably the most wearable for the person who's more into neutral shades. So I think this one is going to be quite a popular one just in that it is so very wearable. Now in here, you have two foils and then one of her pop shade and then a matte. I love that most of these have at least one matte because I feel like with the shimmers of her palettes, you do need one to kind of even it out, tone everything down. Now, this one was the one I was probably the least excited for because it just kind of looks like her whole line. This is the one palette where I felt like of all the Charlotte Tilbury palettes that I owned, I would put it next to them and there were at least one similar shade that across most of the palettes. So this one is most definitely the least unique to the Charlotte Tilbury line. I'm sure if I had gone through every single palette, I could could probably come up with some dupe for dupes within her own line but I did just for an example swatch it next to a dreamgasm dreamgasm is on the bottom just because I felt like the tones were very similar with the exception of this rose pop shade but other than that dreamgasm and copper charge just this is only one in the whole collection so I feel like this 
fits right into Charlotte's collection in that it kind of looks the same as the rest of her collection, but it is very, very pretty. The quality of this was extremely nice and you'll see that in the demo, but I do like this palette. It's just if you own a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, eyeshadows in particular, you probably don't need this one. This is one that you can save money on if you're looking for originality, but it is really pretty and it worked very well. So here is the demo for how I got this look. The next palette we're digging into is Copper Charge. I'm gonna do kind of the same format where I'm taking this shade right here, the shimmery one. I'm gonna use this to kind of give that all over eye glow in the crease. For this one, I do feel like it's a little bit more foil, so it's not as flattering all over the crease unless you have very smooth eyelids. Like, it still works for sure. It just seems to be a little bit more foil than some of her other shades. Next, we're taking the matte. Doing this should pretty much solve that though because all you really need is one matte like this to kind of make everything okay. Oh my gosh, these are blending so buttery smooth. It's crazy. I'm gonna take this shade right here on my finger. I'm gonna pop this everywhere. Beautiful golden shade. Make sure you blend that with the other colors so it's seamless. Then we're gonna take the pop shade here, which again is that creamy pop shade, and I'm just going to pop it on the center of my lid. The shade isn't quite as glittery as the other pop shade. It does take a little bit of building if you have another color underneath. Overall, super duper pretty. And then lower lash line, all I'm gonna do is run just that matte down there. I'm gonna do it kind of smoky, so I'm using the Refer 15 brush, which is a little bit bigger, to smoke that down here. So this palette, I got virtually no fallout. It's probably the most everyday friendly for most people out of all of the four and everything applied very easily. This is very typical Charlotte Tilbury colors and tone. Just beautifully applied, great everyday look with a little bit of pop to it and nothing out of the ordinary here for Charlotte Tilbury. Just it's overall great quality. So here it is with lashes. I would say overall, I didn't get a ton of depth with this one. Uh, you have this one shade to add depth and I really felt like I could have gone in with something deeper, but of course with a quad, you are limited, but just something to keep in mind that this isn't necessarily the deepest look that you can get. The last one that we have here is Green Lights. This one is made for hazel eyes to make them look more gold. You guys know I've been really into green eyeshadows lately, so I was very excited for this one. Now, something to note is that this palette has already existed in her line. A few years back, she had a palette called The Rebel, and then recently, like a couple of months ago, she came out with The Rebel again. It was supposed to be reformulated and just like new and updated with her line, and I'm kind of disappointed because this is The Rebel. It's just being promoted with a different name, which I think is dumb. If she's gonna come out with a new collection of new palette, don't advertise this as new because it's not. If you are a collector, don't pick this up if you've already purchased Rebel. I've been eyeing Rebel very hard, so once the whole collection came out, I was like, all right, here's my chance to buy it. So I'm happy that I have it now, but it's just under a different name, which it'd be different if that quad had been in her line for years, but no, that palette literally just came out like two months ago and she's already renaming it. So that is kind of annoying, but that aside, <laughs> let's get into the actual product itself. So this one doesn't really have any true, true mattes. So you have three foiled shades. I found that the pop shade here, it is the pop formula kind of, but it is different. It's not as shimmery and glittery. It's more so of a foiled shade and it has more of a base to it. So it's not her traditional pop shade. And then the matte right here, it's not really a true matte. It has some particles of glitter in there that are very, very fine, but you actually, you'll see in my demo that you could see the sparkles when I applied it. The shade is beautiful. It blends it out and it works as that contour shade that is going to be matte, but I did find that the glitters kind of fell on my face, which is a little bit annoying, but just be aware of the finishes in this quad. Overall, it is extremely pretty. I'm very into this type of green look and I'm very happy that I picked it up. If you like those khaki, olive green, green golds kind of looks, I'm really, really into it. Overall, like the quality of this is very good, consistent across the board with this collection, but it's not actually new. Kind of a marketing ploy. But other than that, 
really do enjoy it. As far as this compares to her line, what I did notice, I only found like one similarity. You're going to find that if you have the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. So I just went through and I swatched all three of these colors underneath the actual green lights palette. I also just stole a gold from the Icon palette just to kind of pair it with another one. The gold in here is much more yellow and vibrant. As far as the greens, there were no true dupe, but definitely very similar. Like they could be added to the same palette. Or honestly, if you have this palette and you're not looking for too many duplicates, you really don't need this if you have the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. But this one is limited edition. So if you don't have this or you didn't pick it up and you are looking for these green shades from the Charlotte Tilbury line, this is where you're gonna find it. There really isn't any other green shadows like this in her line that I have experienced. So here is the tutorial for that look. So we're gonna be using green lights for this look. I haven't used this yet before so it looks like there's no real true mattes, but we'll see how they apply. So using that same technique, I'm going to use the enhanced shade as my transition color. I mean, it's so easy how these palettes are laid out. You can get pretty much always a thoughtless look if you just follow the recommendations that she gives. And this is blending out beautifully. It's not too, too shimmery to the point where it's unflattering. We're going to take a smaller brush. I'm taking the Wayne Goss 19 and we're going to see how this shade is. Now as you can see there's glitter packed in there. A lot of times with these shades you'll find that they kind of just blend away. Now this shade when I dipped my brush in there was a lot of fallout so I did have to tap off my brush and I don't know if you can see but I do see these little glitter particles that are in the matte. The shade itself is really pretty and it's more of a matte base with these glitters and the glitters are kind of falling down here so they kind of go away which at that point I'm like why even put the shimmers in there if they're just gonna fall in my face Ooh, but I like that I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my lower lash line as well with this brush while it's in my hand so I'm gonna use the gold as my inner corner color well, actually my inner third kind of lid shade I just love using her colors with a finger and let's try the pop gold was kind of stereotypical this doesn't really seem to be that glittery glittery formula from Charlotte just a foiled shade. So not real true glitters that you find from her. Stunning shade though. If you are into these kind of green eyes, this is a really pretty palette. I've been eyeing this, so I'm happy that I bought it with this launch. Get the fallout that fell off. Oof really pretty green gold look. So let's put on some lashes. So along with the eyeshadow, I did apply the eyeliner duo that she came out with. Now she came out in this collection with four different eyeliners that correspond with each of the palettes. I wanted to pick up one just so I could test out the formula. I'm not huge on pencil liners. I already have a lot of different colors, so I just felt like I didn't need to buy all of them. But I did want to buy one to talk about the formula with you guys. And the colors that looked the most unique to me was the green one that I picked up to go with the the green lights so I did use it today for this look. Now what's awesome about these liners is that you get one metallic side and you get one matte side and I'm really just a black eyeliner kind of person. Sometimes I'll do brown to mix it up but that's another reason why I didn't purchase the other colors is because they really corresponded with the palettes well that they were paired with but they weren't colors I would use very often. I just use black you know. The blue palette had a blue liner. The red palette had a red liner. It's just not colors I would go for very often but I do love green so I thought I would pick this up to try the formula and I have to say I'm very very impressed with the formula impressed to a point where I might pick up the other colors I used the metallic shade in my lower lash line here on my waterline and it is sticking very well so far I haven't really worn worn it out so I'm going to update you in the description box how I find that these wear and then on my upper lash line I used the green and this is like a true matte shade and I was actually surprised at this green shade because it was a little bit more green than I was expecting. I was expecting it to have more of maybe like a neutral brown base just because of the tones of the eyeshadow, but the brightness of this green actually made it pop against the eyeshadow even more. So I found these very easy to apply. They're pretty creamy. The matte was not as creamy as the metallic side, so it did make it a little bit more difficult to run along my upper lash line, but it still was very easy. And I like that it almost was a little bit more difficult because these set down. That is what is really great about these 
eyeliners. These swatches up here are from this morning. I've ate, I've washed my hands, I've done all of that, and they're still just not moving. You have very little dry time with these guys, so if you are looking to smudge these out, you gotta run fast or use an eyeshadow to smudge it out because they set down. So they are a very extremely creamy formula, but they dry down very quick and set, and they don't move. Very impressed with this formula, and I think if you purchase one palette, it would be really fun to purchase the corresponding liner. So I don't have anything bad to say about this. All right, so I just wanted to come back and give you kind of my final roundup of the quads and what I think of them. Overall, I think she created a really beautiful collection. The formulation in all of these are spectacular. They're honestly better than her older formula. I noticed them to be more creamy, have some more pigmentation to them, and the pop shades in particular is what I'm most impressed with as far as most improved because I really was not a fan of her pop shade when it would get that really hard pan and it would clump up within the pan. I haven't gotten that impression that these are going to do that thus far. It just feels better. It looks better. So overall, quality on all of these is spectacular. I also think that the majority of these are unique-ish to her line. Of course, I was able to kind of find similarities between all of the shades, but with the exception of Copper Charge, the three that I compared them to were all limited edition of the bigger palettes. Within her own permanent line, I actually didn't see very many dupes. So that is what makes them worth purchasing for. Copper Charge is really the only one that so easily can be duped with all of her other permanent shadows, but the other three are quite unique and I definitely think they're worth the purchase or at least looking into. As far as my favorite one, I have to give it to Mesmerizing Maroon. If you like more plummy, mauve kind of shades, you are going to love this one. I also really enjoy Green Lights a lot just because I'm really into those khaki kind of shades right now. If you're looking for something a little bit more different, probably Probably the most unique in this line. Super blue is really awesome and it's a really great way to add blues to your collection that you know are going to be good quality because sometimes blues are so hard to work with. This is a great quality navy and I don't want to poop on copper charge. Like it is a really good pretty palette. It's just not the most necessary in my opinion. And then of course a huge thumbs up to the liner. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know which palettes you picked up and for what reason. I'm very curious because there was four and obviously these aren't the least expensive palettes so I know a lot of you were talking to me about picking and choosing which one you think would be best for you and I want to know what you guys ended up with so that is all I have for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you are not yet subscribed to my channel I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one